One of the math sections on the SAT will contain a section with 10 questions which do not have your typical multiple choice answer choices. These are called student produced responses. On these, it is imperative that you read the instructions ahead of time. You'll have to bubble in your answers. You do not have the advantage of being able to use the answer choices, but you do get the benefit of not having a guessing penalty. Let's go through a couple examples so you have a sense of what these look like. Let's assume you answered a question as 1.7. The thing you do for all of these is you always start off bubbling on the left hand side. This avoids you running out of room and having to waste time erasing. If your answer is 1.7, you would write at the top 1 decimal point 7 and bubble in the appropriate ovals underneath. It is important to know that you only get credit for what you bubble in. What you write above it at the space on top is simply to help guide you as to the bubbling. Let's say you had a question where the answer was 0.6546. Obviously, you've got more numbers than you have spaces. Again, you start off at the left, 0.654. Whether you write a 4 or a 5, it doesn't matter. You don't have to round up. You don't have to round down. Just lop it off, bubble it in, and move on. Let's say you had another question. We had a range of numbers as possible answers, such as in this case. The number is between 2 and 10. Any one of those will do. Pick one. I say 7, stay on the left hand side, bubble it in, move on. Another thing to note is that if you have a percentage question which asks you specifically for a percent as an answer, and the answer in this case is 47%, you write 47. There's no percentage sign, you can't bubble it in. Do not write in 0.47 because that will be read as 0.47%. If the answer is something like 5 tenths, you can write in 5 over 10, you can write in 1 half, you can write in 0.5. Any of these will be recognized as the right answer. You move on. If you have a mixed fraction as a response, you do not want to write 3 and 1 half on this because it will be read as 31 over 2 you have to convert it into an improper fraction or write it as a decimal. In this case, it would be 7 halves or 3.5. Again, fraction, decimal, it doesn't make a difference. Start on the left-hand side. The thing to note about these is that you want to make sure you start on the left-hand side and you don't get tripped up by the answers.